All right, we're gonna start a video here this morning. The wind's blowing, so I apologize. I think it's April 12th. Guys brought in a bunch of, they call these mats. They're just a bunch of like railroad tied timbers they put together and they'll lay them down on the ground when they got a soft spot. Looks like Big Boss Dave brought in a bunch of straw. We're gonna walk up here and see what's going on. It's gonna be kind of a, well, I'm planning on kind of a short video today because I got some stuff to do and it's gonna be a short morning, so. Looks like they got some more rock staged here. Looks like they're building some more cribbing. Gary's in the skid loader. Eric. Morning. I noticed in the video the other day, they run that jackhammer and that's all you could hear for the most part. We're gonna walk down here and see what they did yesterday. I was able to see them do a little bit, but I ran out of time. All right, so here is Bubba's Crossing. So let's take a look here and see what they did. Oh, good deal. So they got that log put in there and they got these two put in here. Let's go down here and see what they did down here. I think they're getting ready to put another one in here, but I don't know for sure. But there they got, that one they stuck in quite a while ago because he dug a bunch of big boulders. That's some nice boulders. And they put this one in here now. What he did is he brought that grade up real high. So if the water comes around here, what it wants to do, it's it's got to push up an elevation and the water doesn't like to do that. So this thing right here, what that's designed to do, the water will want to go up and then it'll fall and back into the center of the channel. They had to kind of, well they had to bump that sycamore out of there to straighten up this stretch. A stream so they could manage the water a little better. I'm gonna pause for a second. We'll go up here and see what they're doing. All right, so it's only been a second for you, but I've been off the camera here for probably better, close to a half hour, doing some wheeling and dealing, trying to get them to bring the seed drill up here. You can see Lori's in here reseeding everything, putting some straw down. We're gonna go up here to where they started and take a look at that real quick. So you, if any of you are thinking about getting the U.S. Fish and Wildlife involved with your project, you can see 
this whole process through and uh, see what kind of work they do. Okay, so you can see they've strawed and seeded this whole side of this bank already. Boy, that's a nice hole right there. They did this side, did that side. I'm going to go down and talk to Lori. She's down there spreading straw right now. But they're doing a just a fantastic job. Everything looks really good. Old mountain man down there. He, he's something else. Here's another view. Everything looks really good. That hole right there is a nice hole. Yeah, they were asking me this morning uh, about different types of seed that they use and what I wanted wanted them to put down because of uh, this all being pasture and hay fields. So we kind of discussed that there for a little while. Got all this done here. It all looks really good. They're just doing a really good job. These guys are just first class and Lori. She's wonderful too. Alright, I'm going to get offline. So, God bless you. I'll see you on the next one.